What's up everyone? My head legit feels like it will explode sometimes with all the information we receive about Game of Thrones Season 7. What makes it worse is the fact that it has officially been one year since last season aired, and I'm getting damn impatient. I have come to you today with some news that may in fact put some of y'all's mind at ease. According to Express, which is an online media site, Peter Dinklage, Kit Harington, Lena Headey, Amelia Clark, and Nikolaj Coster Waldau will earn up to two million euro per episode. That's like two and a half million dollars in U.S. monies. This is more than like the record-setting one million per episode for each of the cast members of Friend and The Big Bang Theory. Sorry, Friends. That's like one of my favorite TV shows of all time. They also get to share a percentage of the syndication, which will broadcast in over 170 countries. Now, this is nuts, because last year, the same top build cast, aka Cersei, John, Tyrion, Danny, and Jamie, only made 500000 per episode. Only, I know, right? Yeah, if I could make that in a fucking year, I'd be happy. This year, that's almost five times as much when you convert it to U.S. dollars. We're all wondering what in the hell that means for their characters on the show. With this, with this information, I can almost guarantee you that Cersei, Jamie, John, Tyrion, and Danny will all make it past the events of Season 7. Which brings me to the point of this video. Secondary characters will be dropping like flies. Not all of them, but it's safe to say that at least 50% of the remaining secondary cast will not survive the events of the short-lived Season 7. This next part will contain spoilers, so watch at your own peril. I predict that once Yara is captured by Euron, this will lead to her death. I see Euron killing her in front of Cersei to prove his allegiance to her and the Lannisters. Another way it could go down is that he captures both Asha, I mean Yara and Theon, and then kills Yara in front of Danny to frighten her, and in the chaos, Theon then escapes. Over in Cersei's camp, I can see Kyburn kick in the bucket. I predict once Danny hits King's Landing, Varys will travel through the tunnels and run into his little birds and give them some dope-ass Miranese candy. They will then proceed to hunt down Kyburn and betray him, making him die in a similar way to the death of Pycelle last season. Karma is a bitch, ain't it? There is a small chance of him surviving because of his knowledge to resurrect the seemingly dead. This info could potentially be used to bring someone we care about back from the brink i.e. one of Danny's crew members who maybe needs medical attention or who is in fact on the brink of death. Although, Mel and her Red Priestess co-workers also can work wonders with healing the dead, so I don't know if this knowledge will save Kyvern's ass. Although, he is a maester and is sworn to serve the new ruler, so maybe Danny will in fact honor this tradition. Trucking on up north, we have Arya, Sansa, Sandor, Melisandre, and the Brotherhood. All of them are not in the top build cast. First off, I just want to say that Sansa and Arya should be in the top build cast. Both are incredible actresses with massive range, and they deserve more money. With that being said, I still think they are definitely safe until Season 8. I'm referring to Arya and Sansa. There's a small chance of one of them dying, but when I say small, I mean like an 8-10% to 10 chance. The same, however, cannot be said for Sandor. He was just brought back last season, so it would be silly if the writers killed him off, but honestly, I don't know what to expect. I could totally see Dan and Dave writing it so that he dies sacrificing himself for the greater good, like maybe after he takes out 20 whites or something, but I don't know, maybe it will be his fear of fire that gets to him. Speaking of which, I wonder what the fuck his reaction will be once he, see, once he sees Drogon. We will definitely get some funny-ass one-liner, something like, That's a massive fucking dragon. Or, The fuck's a dragon? You know, like, The fuck's a lami? Then Danny flies in on the back of one, and he says some clever shit to Thoros or something. I want you all to write down in the comment section right now what you think the Hound's reaction will be once he sees a dragon for the first time. We all remember Tyrion reaction. I know I skipped a few, mainly the Brotherhood, but honestly, their fate this Season 7 is like huge spoiler territory, so I'm kind of going to stay away from that one just for this video. Last up, we have Misande, Jura, and Grey Worm. Captain Friendzone will in fact be safe in my opinion. With him traveling to get a cure for his grayscale, that will likely keep him from danger. I predict the same, however, cannot be said for Grey Worm. I think Grey Worm will die in the arms of Misande to help further her story, making her realize that she always loved him and hardening her in the process. Misande, I think, will survive, all in all, but I'm not sure how the rest of Danny's crew will end up. I think spoilers were already released about a massive battle in Highgarden involving a Lannister victory, 
So the Queen of Thorns will likely not survive this season. But I don't know. Let me know what you all think the fate of Danny's crew will be at the end of Season 7. Do you think she'll have most of them alive, or do you think most of them will be dead? I think she will lose more than Cersei in the long run simply because she has more to lose. I also predict we will see a lot of Unsullied and Dothraki death, including Lannister soldiers. Alright, that's going to be wrapping this video up. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to enter my contest for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, all you have to do to enter that contest is comment down below, like this video, subscribe to me here on YouTube, and hop on Twitter and follow me. I also started a GoFundMe for the upcoming Con of Thrones in Nashville, Tennessee, as I would love to go but can't afford the whole trip. If you want to check that out, just click on the picture of me holding the samurai sword. I want to give a special thanks to Lynn Shaw for being my first contributor. Thanks again for watching. My name's Mark, and this has been Sir Hunt's Reviews.